Hi guys, welcome to the sixth part of Android tutorial. In the sixth part of this tutorial, I am going to explain how to handle multiple activities in the same Android project. So here I am in this part, I am going to demonstrate how to connect two activities together in the same Android project. In Android, two activities are connected by means of an intent object. So you have to create an indent object for uh, invoking the second activity. So here I am going to create a new project that demonstrates how to connect multiple activities together in the same Android project. So here I am going to create a new Android project. Project. It is an Android application project. Click next. Here I give the application name as second app project name as second project here I change the package name as easy way to win it uses the minimum required SDK version is 2.2 target SDK 4.1 jelly bean and uses compiled with 3.0 honeycomb here I disable the theme option. Here is the custom launcher icon. I leave it all as default. Next, here is the icon chooser option is present. Also make it as default. Now I create a blank activity. Click next. Here I am going to change the activity name as first. The layout name for the first activity is first layout. Okay, click finish. Now you can see that the project is created in the project explorer window. You can see that the second project is appear. Here is the SLC folder that containing the Java class file for the activity that I am already created. Here the name of Java class is first. Here is the layout for the first activity. Here is the GUI part of the first activity that I am already created. For better appearance of the activity, I just change the resolution. Also, I change, the, change it as portrait. Also, I change the theme as a dark black theme. Now it is looking better. Okay. In an Android project, when we create a project, it will automatically generate the first activity in your project. If you create an activity, then it the ID will automatically generate the activity, the layout for that activity, also the Java class file. Here is the Java class file for the activity that I am already created. So in this project, I am planning to create one more activity. My plan is to place a button on the first layout. When the user, when the project run, when user click the button on the first layout, uh, then it will, then the second activity or the second layout will appear. That is the aim of my project. Okay, so I have to create a second class, another Java class and layout for my second activity. So in order to create another activity, first I have to create the class for that activity so I right click the package in the SRC folder and choose the new option and select the new class option here is a new Java class window appear here I name it as second the name of the class I gave it as second and click finish now you can see that in the package there is a new class appear second or Java you can see it is simply a Java is simply a Java class file. Here is the package name and here is the it is a public class with the name second. Okay, the class is created. The second thing the second thing you have to do is to create the layout for the second activity. So in order to create the layout, right click the layout folder and again choose the new option. Here you can here you have to select the Android XML file. Here is the Android XML file. If you 
if it is not sent in the, this option you have to choose the other option then you have to select it from there now it present here now I choose the Android XML file again a new XML file option creation of a new XML file window is appear now I just name the can layout as second layout click finish now you can see that under the layout folder there is another XML file appear the name of that file is second layout now you can see in this project there are two activities are now present this is a main activity with the name first layout this is the activity that I am generated secondly called second layout here is the class file of the first activity here is the class file for the second activity here is the layout of the my second activity for better look I have to change it to standard resolution I make it as portrait and change the theme as uh, black theme there is no need to do all these things for better look if you want better look you have to choose the appropriate theme and um, appearance for your activity now my second activity is ready okay I just print a message on the second activity for that I just place a text area a text view here a text view with the name Android layout I said the layout I said the width as wrap content wrap content means it will the size of the text view is, is exactly matching the width of the content of the text view and so I use the height of the as also it is also wrap content now I assign a text view for the activity Android text I refer it from the string value so here I text this is indicate that text is an identifier that will refer from the string.xml so I have to refer it from the string.xml just go to a look at the no need to use the string.xml here I just print the message as welcome to second activity okay now take a closer look here is the welcome to second activity option is present here the warning is such a string there is no no need to invoke the string.xml file now I have to place it on the middle of the activity Android layout Android layout gravity you can see that a parent a center option is present here again I save it now take a closer look now you can see that it will appear at the center of the activity okay that's fine that's enough for the second activity okay guys thank you for watching this part in the next part I will explain the remaining portion of this project okay thank you for watching see you in the next part of this tutorial